Hey Sean, what's up? Tomas here. How are you? Um, so I just wanted to come on and make this little video to explain to you a little bit more about the nutrition plan that I've sent to you and we've put in place for the next 10 weeks. So over the 10 weeks, we have 3.6 kilos to lose. So when you break that down, that's 0 0.36 kilos per week, which in fact isn't, isn't too much and i'm sure you can agree with that based on the last cut you had where you had to cut a significant amount of weight in four weeks um i believe that we can do your weight cut a lot safer and more consistently over these 10 weeks and we can maintain your strength i remember you said that over the day over the weightlifting meet you missed your last lift on a couple on the, the bench and the deadlifts so we want to make sure that you're hitting all three lifts okay so going into this weight cut it's going to be a consistent slow cut we're not going aggressive at any stage uh, i want your training to maintain and your appetite and just your mood in general. So we look at sleep, everything. Um, and the last one you had was 1500 calories for four weeks, which is very restrictive. And your body would have been crying out for more energy. All right, so the new plan, I have you on 2300 calories on your weight training days. So on your non-weight training days, so the days you're on the bike, I have you on 2,200 calories. But on both days, we're focused on a, a minimum of 2.2 grams of protein. Why 2.2 grams of protein per kilo of body weight? Because protein helps us feel fuller for longer and it helps us recover and maintain our strength throughout a dieting phase, all right? So that's the main importance of the high protein. Also, your carbohydrates are gonna be a really important source because that's what's gonna fuel your workouts, okay? So, if you can think of, say, an hour before your workouts, so before you go into for strength training sessions, say an hour, something like um, a crumpet with jam is really, really good um, fast-acting carbohydrates and have that with a source of protein, so even a protein shake or a protein bar. All right, um, on your plan, I have written down oats. So oats, you'd have an hour and a half before with your, you can have that with berries and a scoop of whey, okay? That's a really good source of carbohydrates for before a strength workout. Then, what I also wanted to talk to you about was after your training sessions, carbs. Okay, so a lot of the time we would have heard uh, bro science saying that protein within that 30 minute window of working out is the most important to support your training. Well, not entirely. Uh, yes, protein after training is important, but that window has been extended. Um, however, for carbohydrates, it's really important to have them within that 30 minutes, especially for yourself, to replenish the muscle glycogen stores that you've used so muscle glycogen is the fuel that your muscles use uh, to perform high intensity lifts like your deadlift, your bench and your squat. So we want to replenish that as soon as your workout's finished. So something like rice, white rice, white pasta with a lean source of meat. So chicken, rice, veg, uh, spaghetti bolognese, whatever you feel, whatever you have prepped uh, from the night before. I know in on your meal plan, it's chicken, rice and veg, but you don't have to follow that strictly, okay? Just make sure there is the chicken or the uh, lean meat, make sure there's the veg and make sure there's the source of carbs as well, all right? Um, fats, we're gonna keep a moderate amount of fat for your weight training days and then on your cardio days, we're gonna increase your fats. Um, this is just because uh, there's no need for your fats to be high during on the days that you're uh, weight training. So 
your carbs are more important that day. So we're gonna keep it, keep it that way. So carbs, weight training, higher fats, non-weight training. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, another thing I wanted to talk to you about was hydration. So <laughs> a lot of athletes, a lot of uh, weight athletes um, have to generally dehydrate in the lead up to uh, a meet because they have that two to three kilos to lose, okay? I want to avoid all of that with you. And the main reason is because even just as small as 2% uh, dehydration can have a significant decrease on performance. So we want you going into that day not dehydrated whatsoever. Uh, I want you to be able to drink water the day before unlike last time where you had to have your saunas, you did your water loading as well. So we wanna avoid all that in the lead up to this uh, to this meet to maintain that performance, okay? So yeah, I've explained to you about the protein, carbs and fats, um, how important hydration is. Now what I want to talk to you about is the importance of the quality and the quantities, I suppose, of the foods you're eating so the quality of the foods you're eating is so important because we want to be able to support our immune system so <laughs> having lots of veg all right having that high quality lean sources of protein and the um your rice and pastas okay really really important if you can think of so say i know this is a, a bit mad for an athlete but think of a mcdonald's burger and chips okay tastes delicious but is it gonna fill you no you're gonna be hungry in that half an hour to an hour after whereas if you think of having a source of a good source of protein so a chicken breast a really good size serving of veg and a good serving of carbohydrates, say of pasta or potatoes or rice. That's gonna fill you for so much longer and keep you more satisfied, which it makes a dieting phase so much easier in the long run, okay? So over the 10 weeks, if you can choose calorie, uh, low energy dense foods to fill your meals, you are gonna be so much better off, okay? These will keep you so much fuller throughout the day and it allows you to have that little bit more volume, all right? So if you do, if you do go out for dinner, say with your girlfriend, you can have your steak, you can have your potato, um, you can have veg. And even on the side of that, ask for a side salad, just to get that extra veggies in. And this also boosts your macronutrient pro profile, which in, in turn helps support your immune system. So you're getting all your vitamins, you're getting all your macronutrients, you're getting all your micronutrients. Micronutrients are important for overall health. Micro macronutrients are gonna support you and your, you, your health and your training. Training, excuse me and vitamins are the same, okay? It's all gonna complement you in this weight cut. We want to avoid all the things that happened in the last weight cut where you felt ill leading up to it, you felt low energy, um, you were dehydrated. We just want to avoid any of that stuff, okay? So, if you have any questions for me, Sean, on what I've said or anything regarding the meal plan or the calorie choices that I've made, please do not hesitate to message me or give me a buzz and we can uh, jump on a quick Zoom call to explain anything. Really looking forward to working with you, Sean, over the next 10 weeks and let's do it.